Right guys, Gaft is back with an amazing packet card effect. I want you to use your intuition on this one and we'll see if we can get a match. Now I want to thank Ian. You know why I'm thanking you Ian. So Ian is a very nice subscriber, sent Gaffer an idea for a trick, we'll call it an idea. So I thought I'd show you and all thanks to Ian. Now I did have to build another wallet because I've got 14 or 12 or 14 cards in here and my sleeves aren't big enough. So we're going to give these cards a shuffle. Spectator can shuffle these cards if, if they want. And we are going to try and make a match. So when you're done shuffling, I want the spectator, they can shuffle these cards just to point to any card. They want this one, we're going to give them another shuffle. Point to any card. And we're going to isolate these two cards inside the wallet. So I can't be accused of tampering with them. I would give this wallet to the spectator to hold now, so there's no way I can do anything dodgy. So I did say I wanted to make a match because there are pairs of cards in this packet. Well, we'll see if we've got a match. Spectator can hold this wallet. Spectator can open the wallet and remove the two cards we put in. Nothing else inside. Hopefully we have got a match. We got the six of diamonds. And we've got another six of diamonds. So that is a trick, guys. But you are probably wondering, yeah, Gaffer, but we didn't see the faces at all the six of diamonds. Well, I've got to uh, confess, they are all the same card, but they are all, in fact, blank. So completely free choice to find the only two printed cards in a blank deck. So comment, subscribe, like, and thank you to Ian. Merry Christmas all. Cheers.